My name is Adam Lopez. I'm the IVC Esports Coordinator. And here at IVC, we're using academic esports to unite the community. <laughs> A lot of the good things that were happening for esports programs were happening because they were spending a lot of time uh, uniting their community in really creative and diverse ways. And so uh, when the program started, I did my best to keep that at the top of like our principles. And I uh, reached out to other faculty and staff on the campus who were able to help spread awareness. And we just did our best to bring students into the community and we launched online so we didn't have a space to begin with. And so everything was virtual, we launched during COVID. And so we spent a lot of time virtually and getting the, the teams together. Um, we held a, a big tryout at the beginning and about like 80 people I wanna say showed up and we had the Dean of Athletics who's kind of been pushing this initiative forward, who uh, was there in attendance and just talking about his vision for the program. And I think that the students really early on noticed that this campus was dedicated to bringing an esports program that was going to serve them in the way that would uh, best represent their interests. This esports program has brought a lot to me. Like I, I have gotten more recognition, more people contacting me about joining this and that, and I'm grateful. I'm, I'm humbled, and I'm. I love it. You know, coming from high school, I wish we could start this earlier. But you know, now that we're growing and it's starting to get to that role where you know we're kind of main leaders in this position. It's truly a different learning experience that you don't typically see in academia, but I feel like it's so needed because the types of students who gravitate towards this type of scene are typically also the types of kids that maybe don't do as well um, in an academic setting. And by supporting them in the ways that they need, I feel like um, sets them up better for success. Now that I actually joined this uh, program, I actually learned uh how everything works from managing, from uh, scheduling, marketing, tournament organization. And I'm able to use it wherever I go. If it's not in esports, any sports, whatever I do, I will have the skills that I have and I can use them in my everyday life. When we first started with developing the arena, um, we had a whole bunch of different perspectives. And one thing that we had heard often was that we need to make sure that the hardware was the top of the line. And so uh, when we made decisions on how many PCs we were going to put into the room, we made that decision with um, having top of the line specs on the PCs. So we were willing to sacrifice some of the, the amount of PCs just to make sure that we had that elite hardware because you need elite hardware to compete. Even though uh, Collegiate is an amateur scene, these these competitors are still like crazy, crazy good. And just under the pro level, we're getting closer and closer every year. And so if we don't have the top of the line specs, then we're putting ourselves at a disadvantage, which is something we definitely don't want to be doing for our students. As far as the hardware goes, uh, we're rocking a lot of ViewSonic 27 inch and 24 inch monitors. We have uh, 17 of those in the room. And then we have five uh, 27 inch. Uh, we've got a glorious keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad and um, we also have HP Omen with 3060 Ti's and uh, also 3070's. And then we also have a dedicated space kind of as a theater area that doubles as a strategy area where we can go over strategy and so sometimes it serves as a community as being a place for everybody just to gather and appreciate the competition that's happening within the arena but then it's also a place for us to really get in depth together and look over strategy and get involved with um, how, how we're developing that strategy and it's just really great and I've seen a lot of success from that. Yeah, the broadcasting area is probably one of the most important areas because that's where you can really uh, unite the community. Not very many esports arenas have a great broadcasting setup and so when you put on these tournaments and you, you put it on Twitch or you put it on YouTube, that's really important for them because this needs to be authentic esports and so having an authentic broadcasting space is really important. We got, we got that crisp, clean ViewSonic monitors sit, sitting on the desk in there for, uh, I think we have eight monitors there. Today we had League of Legends 1v1 happening inside the arena and that was a whole bunch of different types of competitors. So we had high schoolers, we had college students, we had people um, who, who aren't even in school come and compete. And so the, the goal of the event is to bring together a whole bunch of different stakeholders and a whole bunch of community members and trying to get them all together and having conversations that are going to empower the community. And then they can take whatever they learn uh, because we have people coming from all over the place. We have universities with UCLA coming in. We have Cal State uh, universities come in. We have both Cal Poly Slow and Cal Poly Pomona coming in and then we also had community colleges sign up and they're here playing Rocket League and 
that they could take what they learned back to their communities and best practice because there are so many great people here today to learn from. The major goal within the program is that we can enable these students to do really cool things and now they're going off and serving other communities and spreading out more student happinesses which is like one of the most important things right now is that students are coming to school and, and excited to be here. Well, I just am really proud as a community college program able to compete with other universities in the space. This brought so many opportunities to me where I just realized like, wow, well, I'm, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm at because of this program. This program has built me to the type of skillful player I am that I'm able to be featured on, on these big social media platforms as I'm, I'm being shown as a great player and I'm super grateful for that. I hope that our program um, grows significantly and becomes a staple within this community for a place for, for parents and students and educators and people in the professional industry to just come here and appreciate esports and what it can do for community, but especially students.